Hey guys, it's Holly and I honestly can't remember the last time I filmed a video at night and for anyone who doesn't like watch my gaming channel, I have glasses now for whenever I'm on the computer because I do a lot of work in front of the computer so that's fun and because I've been looking at a screen all day I thought I'd wear them today. So a couple of weeks ago I made a video basically saying that I might have surgery and spoiler alert, I went ahead and I had the surgery so I thought I would give you all an update because there was a lot of people who were sharing their stories with me and that people they know had had a similar operation and thank you all so much to everyone who responded to that. It really gave me peace of mind because I really was freaking out about this. Luckily everything went well but today I really wanted to talk about that whole experience and how my operation went and how my recovery went in case anyone was interested or if there was someone like me that just wanted to know more because I've, I heard and like saw a lot of like kind of negative videos and side effects and things like that and I feel like I would like to share my story with people but also a lot of people have been wondering like how my recovery is going so I thought I would let you all know. So to put a long story short for months I had been dealing with this really bad like indigestion, chest pain, heartburn, reflux type of thing and I had a test done and they were like yeah no you don't have reflux like it's just something you're eating. It kept going and it was consistently so painful and it just caused me to burp all the time and it was it was disgusting to be quite frank and I got tested by a different doctor I had a bunch of abdominal scans done an ultrasound an x-ray turns out I had gallstones which explains everything which was basically whenever I had like high amounts of fat in any particular food or like a meal and I found it like after I'd been told this that it was like all at once. So it meant like I couldn't eat things like avocado, otherwise I would have this pain and I would start burping. You can't remove them, that's the problem. I mean you can, but they could come back and especially since I am so young, the doctor was kind of like, hmm, no. And she basically said to me one of the main routes that you can take, which, you know, talk about it with your family, see if you want to consider it, and that is to get my entire gallbladder removed. Now she said there was like three to four stones in there, and they were all quite big. How big they actually turned out to be, I have no idea. But I heard that and instantly I was like, alright, like I want to speak to my family because luckily, fingers crossed for me, my family has private health insurance. Also being in Australia, the public health care system is really good for us, but we did have private health insurance and at the time of recording this I am still covered under it until I turn 22 so I was like please like let's get this done while I'm covered so that you know I can take full advantage of that service if you're paying hundreds of dollars for health care like you want to get your benefits right so I spoke to my family and they were like yep well we, you can get it removed and I was like awesome I went to my specialist appointment I basically was like hey like what's life going to be like afterwards because everything I'd seen I was worried people were saying oh it got worse like digestive issues tons of bloating and things like that and I was like ah so I was really worried about like the life post-op hit although the problem was it's like I was already experiencing pain there's chances that these stones can get blocked and that further issues can appear also there's like a ton of things in life that can make them even more common I was like reading just by being a female you're more at risk 20 years old like I really should go and get this taken care of so I spoke to my doctor they were like yep we can do it I got myself all booked in so this way the surgery goes it was called a lapot Laparoscopy, laposcopy, laparoscopy. I don't know its official name basically but it was keyhole surgery which is what you'd get basically if you had like appendicitis or like your pancreas taken out and they cut like three to four small incisions one of which is through your belly button and they get like a camera and then they remove the organ basically through the belly button kind of graphic kind of gross uh, TMI warning for everyone there so that is what I had done so I went into hospital got myself all robed up and let me tell you I was extremely nervous I broke down crying before I had to leave. I was so scared that something was going to go wrong. I'd only been under anesthetic once prior in my life and luckily everything went well but I did have a friend who had a severe allergic reaction to it which I think is why it like freaked me out. I was like please tell me that I will wake up again. Please tell me that everything was fine but I think another big thing is that because I hadn't been eating like high fat 
foods all at once. I hadn't experienced like the extreme chest pain for quite a while. So it was practically like I was living normally and I was like, well, if I'm living normally, why am I gonna get four holes cut open in my abdomen? Mm, I was worried about the recovery process, but luckily the surgery went smoothly. I woke up and there was like this old lady next to my bed and she was like, oh, how'd you go? And I was like, oh, really good. Like, how are you doing? She was really happy too, so I made friends with an old lady at the hospital, that was nice. Everything went super smoothly, I woke up, I was a bit kind of nauseous, like my stomach kind of hurt, so they just like pumped me with some painkillers and were like, yep, you're, you're fine. Checked my blood pressure, everything was alright in hospital. It was really hard to like get to sleep though, because I think like my blood pressure is quite low in general, but also it's like the machine that was like giving me my painkillers would just start beeping in the middle of the night. I don't know, I've never been in hospital before overnight, so that that was an experience and I kind of planned not to be for as long as possible. But in, in saying that, it was a nice hospital. I just never, I just didn't know how to pee that entire time. The nurse had to like wheel my little like machine over with me because otherwise I just, I couldn't get out the bed. It was really terrifying. They also had me with these like compression socks and everything to like make sure that like I didn't get any blood clots or anything. And then when I woke up in the morning, they had to like stick this thing into my thigh to like prevent blood clots as well. It was like this thingy. I apparently have to wear my compression socks every single day, which I've been kind of slack on the last two days, which isn't good because like with everything going on right now, blood clots, kind of a hot topic. So I woke up and I had like four cuts in my abdomen. One was on my belly button. One was like here-ish and then like two on the side. And mostly all of the pain was coming from the ones in the center. The ones on the side didn't bother me too much, but I say pain. I was more just very sore. I don't think I was ever in pain besides like freshly waking up and like that first day while I was still in the hospital but I got like some extreme painkillers as well as just like regular painkillers and I would have them at the recommended times and for the most part I was pretty fine I was just very sore it really hurt for me to like lie down and then try and sit up for like the first two days like I think it just used too many of my ab muscles that already weren't very strong <laughs> and then having to use them to try and sit up and I was like whoa but luckily my family was there to wait on me and give me food and and water and all of that and luckily there wasn't too many complications they did put me on like a liquid diet to begin with which was fun and I had soup I also threw up actually once at the hospital after drinking apple juice which wasn't fun besides that though no nausea which was fantastic and then for like the last week or so I've just been taking it really easy I have spent a lot of time in bed not a lot of time moving up and down in fact only like the last one or two days do I feel like I've felt mostly like myself like I've been living in my track pants and my pajamas I like tried to get myself ready two days ago which made me feel better but I still felt a bit iffy yesterday I felt fine today I feel a lot better and I finally taken my bandages off which was really terrifying to be completely honest. Sometimes they like still feel a bit weird, but everything looks like it's healed really well, which I'm really happy about. And so far there's been no major complications. One thing I did notice though, and it turns out it's just like a symptom of the procedure for the most part, and kind of specifically having your gallbladder removed in general, is that I feel like I've been very bloated recently. And that's not been very fun. I know that like my whole body and my digestive system has like got to readjust now. And they did tell me that, but they didn't really tell me that the bloating would be a side effect and would last quite a while. I feel like it's slightly getting better now and I feel like a lot of that is coming down to like what I eat and things like that but also I've been kind of bedridden so like and had a bunch of Easter chocolate so like I've been trying to ignore it but I did eat like half a chocolate bunny today which I majorly regret and probably shouldn't have done that but on the plus side didn't have pain for once, so that was good. But yeah, I feel like they didn't really explain how badly the bloating was gonna be, so that kind of came as a shock, but it's starting to die down now. I feel like my body's starting to adjust. I'm still not allowed to like do any like strenuous exercise or like lift things over five kilos, they said either, which is fantastic. And I'm gonna go check up and see my doctor next week. But besides that, everything's been going really well. I've been healing really well. I wanna thank you all for your messages. And if anyone has this surgery coming up in the future, it's really not as bad as I feel like the internet made it seem. It I feel like it was very deceptive, but it's always so easy to run and like go and ask Google all of these things. But luckily, everything went well, at least in my case. It wasn't too bad. And my recovery for the most part has overall been really smooth. So that's amazing. In the long run, I definitely have to make a lot of like lifestyle changes. I definitely still have to have majority low fat diet. I feel like I'm never gonna be able to have avocado on toast again, which sucks, but I 
feel like I might be able to slowly introduce guacamole back into my diet, which would be lovely. But overall, I'm really glad that I got it taken out, especially now while I am still covered under health insurance. But even just in general, I feel like I would rather get it out and then live with like no possible implications of kind of them coming back or getting more of them in the future because I am so young. So I'm glad that it, that's all over. Glad that it's done. So once again, thank you all so much for your kind messages and recovery. And I will keep you updated as well if anything major happens through like either like the little community post. I probably won't make another video unless something major happens, but I do just want to let anyone know who may or may not have this done in the future it's okay, like everything will be fine. I hope, at least in your case, everyone's different, but there really wasn't that many major implications that they said that could happen or like issues and things like that. And I definitely had a pretty smooth experience myself. So I hope that kind of calms anyone's nerves because I know for myself especially, I was very terrified. <laughs> One thing though, I've just been extremely tired this last week, so I'm gonna wrap this video up now and then head back into bed with our little Grogu there. He was my hospital buddy. I brought him with me, it was a lot of fun. Thank you all so much for watching and for your well wishes and I'll see you guys later.